What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to compare pictures taken on real film from the Olympus MJU-2 with Kodak Portra 800 film stock two pictures taken on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then in the end, I wanna show you how to create um, this film look, this Kodak Portra 800 film look from the pictures that you took with your iPhone in the Free Lightroom app. So let's get right into this. Last week, I met up with Kat. Um, she's a model here from Spain, from Barcelona. And we took some shots on my terrace and I did a little comparison. I shot a few shots with the Olympus MJU-2 on film and then a few shots with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is how they turned out right here. This is the iPhone look right here. We can see it's a little dark, but the iPhone did a great job to kind of capture the highlights and the shadows and not blow anything out. So it's a pretty high quality look. And now right here, this is the film look which we achieved with the Olympus MJU point and shoot camera. And as you can already see, it's super grainy when we zoom in on it. Um, it really looks like straight out of these old days. It could be from a magazine, Vogue, whatever. I'm really blown away by how um, cool this grain looks and how realistic and just that whole film uh, vintage vibe. I really like the softness between the colors, how the contrast shift. Um, there's not too hard shadows because everything looks so soft um, on that film. We also, as I said, um, used really high quality film stock here, Portra 800 by Kodak, which is a quite expensive film, but as you can see here, really worth it. Um, I'm really in love with this look right here. And now I'm gonna show you how you can create this look or come as close to this uh, film look as possible with that iPhone picture in the Free Lightroom app. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is as always, open our picture in the Free Lightroom app, and we're gonna edit this together. So in the Lightroom app here, we go to curve on the upper right side, and you just wanna push up that curve a little bit in the middle towards the upper left side there. So we have that bow towards the upper left side, and it will brighten up the image. Once we have this, we're done here. Then the next thing we wanna do is just boost up the contrast to around plus 24, boost up the highlights as well to plus 33, and boost up the shadows to plus 16, boost up the whites to plus 22, and then boost up the blacks to plus 19, so we kinda just highlight, made everything a little brighter. Then we go over to the colors tab here. What you wanna do is pull down the temperature to negative 10, and then we wanna boost up the tint to plus 17 right there. And then we scroll up, hit mix here on the upper right side for the red tones. We're just, just gonna get those skin tones right. So what you wanna do is boost the hue to plus 21 to that yellow area. Then we're gonna boost the saturation to plus 31, and the luminance up to plus 21 right there. Then the orange tones, we want to boost up the hue all the way to plus 46. We're gonna boost up the saturation as well, all the way to plus 49. And we're gonna boost up the luminance to plus 12 right here. Um, we go over to the yellow tones here. We just wanna boost up the saturation to plus 49 right there. Then the green, the aqua tones, we're not gonna change. But the blue tones here, we just wanna pull down the hue a little bit to negative 55 or 54. Then we're done here. Next thing we do is go to grading right next to it. And then for the shadows, we wanna boost the hue to 34 and the saturation up a little bit to around, around nine is perfect in this case. Then here, the mid-tones, we want to boost up the hue to 220 and the saturation all the way up to 53, 54. Then the highlights, we boost up the hue to 222 and the saturation up to around 20 is perfect. And now we can see that blue uh, light in there. And um, once we have this, we're done here. Next thing we do is go over to the effects tab. And last things here is just pull down the texture to around negative 16 and then we want to pull down the dehaze as well to negative 7 and now of course we want to add that grain depending on how big your photo is you want to go a little more or less here um, in this case it's a huge photo so you want to really boost up the grain to around 91 um, which is perfect right here and then we're done and this is the final result here's a before and after and I think we came super close to that real film look that we achieved um, with the real film camera I hope you're happy with this Keep in mind, we're only using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app, which absolutely amazes me how close we can really get. Now, if you wanna save some time, you don't wanna to toggle along to the whole tutorial, 
feel free to download the preset I've created for you on exactly this look. It's linked under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 200 presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, such as this one today, they're automatically added to the pack. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get a growing presets pack with new presets every week. It's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. And if there's anything else you need from me, as always, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy. Peace.